chance in this war. So don't pretend you're doing any favors here. You need us as much as we need you. Nobody had anteed yet. All eyes were drawn to the drama unfolding among the players. The card shark hesitated. Its limited programming uncertain how to handle the situation. Des knew Groshik was watching from the far side of the cantina. His hand near the stun blaster he kept stashed behind the bar. He doubted the Nymodian would need it, though. True enough, the commander conceded, pushing his ante in. The others, including Des, followed suit. But at least we pay you for the cortosis we use. The Sith would just take it from you. No, Des corrected, studying his cards. You pay Oro for the cortosis. Those credits don't make it all the way down to a guy like me. He folded his hand, but didn't stop talking. See, that's the problem with the Republic. In the core, everything's great. People are healthy, wealthy, and happy. But out here on the rim, things aren't so easy. I've been working the mines almost as long as I can remember in one way or another, and I still owe Oro enough credits to fill a freighter hut. But I don't see any Jedi coming to save me from that little bit of injustice. Nobody had an answer for him this time, not even the commander. Des decided they'd talked enough politics. He wanted to focus on winning the 2,000 credits that had built up in the Savakpot. He went in for the kill. Don't try to sell me on your Jedi and your Republic, because that's exactly what it is. Your Republic. You say the Sith only respect strength? Well, that's pretty much the way things are out here on the Rim, too. You look out for yourself, because nobody else will. That's why the Sith keep finding new recruits willing to join them out here. People with nothing feel like they've got nothing to lose. And if the Republic doesn't figure that out pretty soon, the Brotherhood of Darkness is going to win this war no matter how many Jedi you have leading your army. Maybe we should just stick to cards. The Lieutenant suggested after a long, uncomfortable silence. That works for me, Des said. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. The commander said, forcing a smile. A few of the other soldiers murmured assent. But Des knew the hard feelings were still there. He'd done everything he could to make sure they ran deep. Chapter 4 The hours ticked by. Other miners began to arrive, the day shift coming in to replace the night crew that had left. The card shark kept dealing, and the players kept betting. Dez's stack of chips was growing steadily larger, and the sabat pot kept on growing. 3,000 credits, 4,000, 5. None of the players seemed to be having fun anymore. Dez figured his scorching ran.